Swans, giraffes, and rubber ducks all have something in common. <laughs> they can all be turned into a float. Absolutely, and that's just some of the exotic floats you'll be seeing making their way down the Roanoke River this evening. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer joins us now live along the river. So Shane, where are all these floats headed? Hey, John and Lindsay, you know, first thing first, sunglasses are required for today's story. As you're sitting out here, you can see them all coming down the Roanoke River right now. It looks like they've got a lead kayak going forward. This is the second time they've done this flotilla. This is a summer flotilla to get people out here on the Roanoke River and realize what a great asset they have here right here in their backyard. You know, too many times I hear people say, oh, I've never floated the river. I've lived here forever. I've never been down here. Well, this is the perfect time for people to come down. We've got tubes. I saw a swan. I saw a giant and diamond. I see a flamingo down in the distance too, and you can see some other ones all the way making the corner right around here on the river. And now when they get done here, they're going to go all the way down to Star Hill, which is right down in front of the hospital. And when they get to Star Hill, they'll get a cold drink to cool off. And if they get the beer that benefits the charity this month, that charity is the Roanoke Parks and Rec. They get that money, which is totally great. It helps do more things here in the city and also gets people out here on the river. I'll have the full story so you can see See all the crazy floats that we saw coming up right here tonight at 11. Live in Roanoke, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.